What is up guys? My name is Ronnie and I does makeup and in today's video I'm going to be going over everything in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty week 2 and talking way too much. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. Now I know that you and I both have things to do today so for your sanity and mine I will be keeping this uh or trying my best to keep this uh way shorter but there are things that i feel passionately about um whether or not that passion is founded is completely up to you so let's get into it before i get into it because i am just chronically uh sidetracked uh, for my eyes i use the it's Bell cosmetics cool summer palette and it is on like super sale right now if it's still in stock um, it's like $10 and uh, I really like it. I used Flip Flops, Festival Nights, Blue Curaco, and Seashells. And uh, yeah, I like it. So let's actually, actually get into this before this becomes another 50 minute long video. So on Sunday, September 4th, we have the Bobbi Brown G Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. I have said that like six times and I keep like, uh, so I'm keeping that one. Um, it is regularly on sale for, mm, it's regularly priced at $32, but it is now on sale for $16. We have the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Foundation with SPF 45, huh, that is regularly priced at $50. That is now on sale for $25. We have the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm that is regularly priced at $28. That's now on sale for $14. And then 50% off Select Exuviance Treatments. I'll be honest, I've had a pot eyeliner or two before, and I promise that I um, put the put, put the top on tight, and uh, I stored it properly, and I did everything that I needed to do, and it still uh, dried out on me. So I just feel like this is gonna dry out on you because gel eyeliners are very temperamental. I just feel like this is gonna be a waste of money. Sorry. I personally don't use eyeliner anymore, so uh, I'm definitely not getting this, like, but, like I said, I just gel eyeliners just aren't good for the everyday makeup consumer just because they dry out so easily. You're not going to use all of it more than more than likely. I don't want to generalize. More than likely, you're not going to get through it all before it dries out or before it goes bad, and it's just going to end up being a waste of money. It doesn't matter how much you save, you're still spending your money if it goes bad or dries out before you use it. So I just I don't know. I it's a no for me, dog. Next is the Estee Lauder foundation. So much like the foundations of last week, this is a light coverage hydrating foundation with a focus on skincare. I do like that this has SPF 45, but just note that this is a very watery foundation and I would apply this with like a very dense brush. I have one like right here, give me a minute. Something like this Urban Decay or this It Brush where it's like, it's very like dense where the product isn't gonna like just like seep into it and it, that'll make that'll make the product last that'll help it like spread where you don't feel like you're just using all of it to get it all over your face that'll help one thing i will say is that i wish uh estee lauder put as much uh for lack of better words effort as they did into their newer foundation ranges as they did into their uh, double wear foundation ranges because the question that I get asked a lot is I'm like X in double wear. What am I in this? And it's like, um, well, this is close, you know? And so double wear has like 55, like 60, uh, I don't know, shades. This has like, not that. So, uh, you can get something close. And again, with it being watery, I guess you can, with it being a light coverage, but that's always the excuse. Oh, it's light coverage. So it's just gonna be a light flush of color. And it's like, that's not an excuse. You have the money, you have the resources to make a shade for everyone. Just make a shade for everyone. But that's not what this video is about. So long story short, $25 isn't too bad for a new foundation. But just know that if you fall in love with this, that price is up to $50 regularly. So if you like it, 
sorry. Next is the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm. And let me just say, no lip balm is worth 30 doll hairs. No, ma'am. I have a sample sized uh, NARS Laguna lip balm and it's it's fine it does what it needs to do but it's a it's a lip balm it's not better than my cherry chapstick and it's definitely not worse worth 15 times the price of my cherry chapstick normally and like this is a bad steal and i think nars knows that and i think that this is a way to get these sold honestly i think they know that the only way this is going to sell is if they heavily discount it so we we will see we will see i would say if you i would say wait and see if maybe we can get it down to 75 closer to holiday whenever they're trying to get things off for holiday get things off the shelves to make room for holiday so uh i think i think we can go lower i think i think we can go lower i'm a gremlin i'm sorry Finally for this day is Exuviance. And I don't subscribe to the notion personally that brands of skincare are one size fits all because I love some Exuviance treatments, but um, their moisturizers pill on me really, really badly. So like I have to like wet my hands and like kind of go above and beyond to get them to work. But the treatments I like. <laughs> so I know that normally I don't really go into these, but I did notice that like the volumizing like plump and lifts. Give me a minute, I have it. Give me, give me one minute. Like this, it is the lift volumizing concentrate. This I use and I really like it. It's it smooths out fine lines, it kind of plumps the skin. I like this. I like this a lot. This I would say, like, go ahead and uh, get because I I'm very expressive when I talk. So like I sometimes get like 11 lines and like I raise my eyebrows so I get like fine lines right here. And I've noticed a difference with that for with like my fine lines because again, expressive when I talk, I need to just not move my face at all ever, just shut up for forever. <laughs> but, but going back to like how things aren't one size fits all in brands, I also noticed that like the wrinkle smooth topical peptides are on sale and I use this and I used it again for like the same thing for like fine lines and I use I try to use it for under eyes because I get like fine lines and a little bit of crepiness underneath there and it didn't work as well it, it got it pilled and it, it, it didn't seem to like absorb really well into my skin so like this worked for me but these didn't so it's <laughs> Skincare isn't one size fits all and you got to kind of see what you like. I would suggest this over this definitely, especially if I have issues with like things absorbing and like drier areas of my skin because like this isn't in my T-zone underneath my eyes. I guess I have issues with absorption underneath there. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Um, I am much happier with the serum. I would suggest the serum. Those are the only two things that I saw that were going to be on sale that I have tried. If you have issues with fine lines, if you're a yappy bitch like me, uh, and you're <laughs> expressive, and you have some expression lines from it, um, try try the volumizing concentrate. I think I think that's a good uh, I think that's a good product. So um, do it. <laughs> All right, next day is Monday, uh, September 5th. We have the Beauty Blender Bio Pure Makeup Sponge that is regularly priced at $20, now on sale for $10. Next, we have the MAC Magic Extension 5mm Fiber, Fiber Mascara? Yes, Fiber Mascara that is regularly priced at $26, now on sale for $13. Next, we have the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Smudge Stick Eyeliner that is regularly priced at $22, now on sale for $11. We have the Strivectin Super C SPF 30 Vitamin C Moisturizer that is regularly priced at $69, now on sale for $34.50. And the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm that is regularly priced at $48, now on sale for $24. Okay, so first up, is Beauty Blender. I think we um, all know, or at least should know, that Beauty Blender is a very uh, overpriced brand and a very petty and overprotective brand over their like brand of sponges. I've said brand way too much. Anyway, here's them being uh, petty, in case you didn't know. Um, uh, even $10 for these sponges, though, is a little bit too much, especially whenever you have brands like Real Techniques, uh, Juno & Co, Japanesque, 
and so many other brands that have like high quality sponges that are just like a fourth of the regular price or half of the price of these on sale. Honestly, you're just paying for the Beauty Blender marketing at this point. I used to love Beauty Blender sponges and I still have like some of my old like Beauty Blender the sponges now but I just find myself being more drawn to my real technique sponges like this is what I use today I go for my real technique or my Japanesque sponge over my beauty blender ones now I don't know why I think I just like them more now that I just now that I'm a more experienced makeup person and I'm not just be, I'm not just consuming beauty YouTube all the time and just using what I see other people use. I'm actually going out and trying my own things and figuring out what I like and not just being like, many of you ain't used that. I need to put that on my face. That way I look like him. Let's do it, <laughs> you know? So uh, I, I just feel like I just prefer my Japanesque sponges and my Real Technique sponges over them as they're less expensive, less exorbitant of my products, and less annoying as brands. I know that's petty, but th th that's what I go for now, okay? Okay, I'm annoying. I, I don't need any more annoyance in my life, okay? Okay. Next up is MAC. So this is a fiber mascara, and if you don't like my fiber mascaras like Too Faced or uh, long comb months here big. I was literally it was literally on sale like last week. I talked about it a week ago um, If you don't like those you probably won't like this mascara Mac also has very watery mascaras So at least for me where mascara is like the last thing I do and then I go I have an issue where like I'll do my mascara and then like I'll go and it won't fully dry and then I'll have like little dots up here because I'll be like blinking and like my mascara hasn't fully dried yet because I, I, I'm used to other mascaras being dried by the time that I'm doing things. I'll just have little black dots on my eyelid and I don't like that. I don't like watery formulas for my eyelids because I'm very, I'm a very go, go, go girl, you know? So if you don't have a minute or two to sit and let this mascara dry, probably won't like it because like I said, little black dots from the tips of your eye, from the tips of your mascara, tips of your mascara, from the tips of your lashes, rubbing your mascara off on your eyelid. There we go. Go, 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 like I said. <laughs> Next up is Stila, and these are just really good eyeliners. Um, they come in a lot of colors. I mean, they come in 12 colors, and they don't have any of like the funky, crazy colors like my ColourPop ones do. Uh, but they are a better formula than my ColourPop ones and you know funky col crazy colors aren't exactly Stila's marketing So I can't blame them too much. So whatever, but these are long-lasting easy to apply They're not too runny. They don't fade from my waterline throughout the day They're just really good eyeliners and I love them a lot This steel happens every 21 days of beauty or so so I mean if you haven't tried these yet give them a go I mean the worst thing that can happen is you fall in love with them and then you have to buy another one next time they're on sale. Oh no. Next up is Strivectin. So uh, the scent on this bad boy is strong. Like kind of made my eyes water strong. And I personally don't think that the SPF is maybe as high as what they state is. I'm not going to say it's false advertising because I'm not going to get sued, but I will say that I got some pink on my cheeks when I wear that when, when I wore this and I was also wearing a mask and I wore these like thick black cloth masks you know, I'm doing a lot of show and tell today anyway I wear these and I normally don't have an issue with that so yeah. Also, the third ingredient is uh, dimethicone, and that can clog your pores. And I think I feel like I mentioned that like last video, but I feel like I feel like I need to state it uh, again this video. Um, all in all, kind of like a buyer beware experience for me personally. And uh, try this at your own risk because I had a very meh experience with this product. Finally for today is Belief. It's a very lightweight moisturizer with a kind of uh, light scent. Uh, I could smell it. Some people don't like scents in their um, eye products if you have a sensitive eye area, so that's why I feel like it warrants stating uh, scented eye product. Don't like that, sorry. Anyway, skincare also typically goes off the first five rule where the first uh, five ingredients make up the majority of the product. And I am presently surprised, not pleasantly surprised, I don't know, I'm just happy to report. That makes me sound too official. I, 
first five, good. How about that? First five, good. Anyway, four of the first five ingredients of this are one of two types of glycol, which help product um, absorb into the skin and also plump the skin, or glycerin or squalane, which are moisturizing agents themselves. So the things that get absorbed into the skin, which great, great for a moisturizer. So love that. It's a solid formula for me. And if you've been needing an eye cream for dry, crepey under eyes, I'd give this a whirl. I'm currently trying um, an under eye cream that I really like right now. I like... I, no, I was, like, if this had been on sale like a year or two ago, I would have given this a go. Um, but I currently kind of really like the under eye thing that I have going on right now. I have a serum and a cream, and I think I'm doing good with it. So I don't want to mess that up too bad. Part of me also wants to just, like, keep the, like, buy it just to keep, just in case. I don't know. I need to not be a shopaholic. The next day is Tuesday, September 6th, where we have the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion and the Original and the Anti-Aging. They are regularly priced at $25, now on sale for $12.50. We also have the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Day Cream with SPF 23, which is regularly priced at $70, now on sale for $35. We have select Paracone products ranging in sale from $19 to $159, now on sale for $9.50 to $79.50. And the CauseRx Lip Sleep Ceramide Butter Lip Sleeping Mask, which is normally priced at $19, now on sale for $9.50. $9.50? $9.50. First up is Urban Decay, and it's another product where there's like four options, but only two are on sale, so I'm miffed on principle, but I hate this product, so it's okay. I have oily eyelids, and the original primer potion uh, did not dry down on my eyelids at all, and it ended up moving my eyeshadow around my eyelids and my, it broke down my eyeshadow and my eyeshadow just looked terrible and then to add salt to the wound dried out in the tube so negative four out of ten experience thank you thank you urban decay very cool so uh oily eyelid babes uh, stay clear i don't like it go away that's that's all i gotta say Next is Shiseido, and I feel like I can't joke about the SBF 23 being too oddly specific while also like having just mentioned how the SBF 30 for the Strivectin being maybe a little stretch of the truth, so this one gets a little bit of a pass. <laughs> However, comma, this moisturizer is amazing under makeup. It is lightly scented, but not too strong, and there isn't a white cast from the SPF that is actually in the moisturizer. Plus, Shiseido is a really great brand for, like, mature skin types, so that's a plus that it can be used by really anyone. But Shiseido is expensive, so be prepared to really pay if you really like it. Next up is Paracone. So I'm not going to go over everything Paracone that is on sale. Um, I will say that I've had one Paracone product, and um, it burned my face, but it also made my skin look amazing. So I have some mixed feelings right now about this. That moisturizer isn't on sale, so I don't feel the need to, to name it and like bring it to light. But uh, I am hesitant to try more, but I also want to try more. And I overall get a, get a feeling of I am confusion. Finally for the day is CauseRx, and I love CauseRx, and I slap this bad boy on my lips, and I wake up with smooth and supple lips, uh, hot damn. Um, <laughs> it's really thick, so I wouldn't use it as a chapstick throughout the day. I know it's called the lip sleeping mask, but um, they do advertise it as you being able to use it throughout the day. Don't use it throughout the day. That's, that's a waste of money. Just get a chapstick. But I think using uh, it at night is really good. Uh, where I am at is really dry and my lips uh, feel like a desert. I I'm trying to think of an analogy or a simile. A simile. I can't think of one right now. Dry lips, this helps. This good. Next day is Wednesday, September 7th. First product of the day is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Goodness. It is normally priced at $37, and it is on sale for $18.50. 
And then Select Lancome Renergy Creams, like just their Renergy line, I guess, that normally is on sale from $80 to $130, which is now on sale for $40 to $85 or $65. I can do math. I can do simple math. And then select clean beauty products, which range in price from $28 to $115, which are now on sale from $14 to $57.50. So first up is Bare Minerals. So um, it's a medium coverage, but buildable coverage foundation. I have issues with this setter, set, settering, with this settling into my bigger pores. I have massive pores like right here and right here. And this foundation really tends to like accentuate like right there and on my nose and like right here. Oh my God, right here, really bad. Uh, it it kind of looks like paint on me if I'm gonna be honest. So I personally do not like this foundation. I should probably get my foot off that, that way it stops shaking. This is also a really, really matte foundation. So I needed a more hydrating uh, primer for my more like dry areas, like around my cheeks and like my forehead, like, you know, just where I get really dry. Otherwise it looked like really flaky and crusty. Also, SPF 20 isn't strong enough SPF for uh, by itself. I know I sound like a broken record, but adding SPF 20 in your already bloated title as if it is something to be proud of uh, just kind of makes me hmm a little, you know? <laughs> Next up is Lancome. So I have a short yet kind of funny, it's funny to me. I have a, sh it's, it's a short yet funny story. It's, it's short to me and funny to me story about the name. So whenever this line first started or at least first came to Ulta, I kept calling it like Regenery. The name is Renergy, like R Energy. I kept thinking like rejuvenate and the Lancome counter manager kept getting very angry at me. Not very angry, but she thought that I was annoying because I am understandable, have a nice day. But anyway, she would correct me a couple times and I would instantly forget, like I would just hard reset the second I walked out those doors uh, and the next day I would just keep calling it Regenery. And um, it was just more nails in my coffin. Anyway, to the creams. Anyway, these are very fragranced as is most of Lancome's skincare. And once again, the main uh, moisturizing agents are silicones, which I feel the need to bring up just because silicones can clog your pores and you know, they kind of just kind of give the illusion of things moisturizing because they provide a slip as opposed to actually like seeping in unless you have something to make it seep in. But then again, they can clog pores. But I'm also not like a chemist or anything, so I don't know if there's anything in these formulas that make the silicones not clog pores or make them, you know, not do what I believe from what I know of silicones to do. I'm just saying that I'm hesitant to recommend Lancome skincare because I do just feel like it's a luxury name, it's a luxury title, it's a luxury skincare. I just feel like you're paying a lot for the branding and paying a lot for the name without a lot of like good formulas to back it up. You know, I just feel like there's better stuff out there. Even with it being half off, I just feel like you can get better stuff for a better price, honestly. So um, it's just so expensive and you're paying for Lancome brands for just a basic formula, honestly. So um, sorry, Ulta, sorry, Lancome. Next up is Select Clean Beauty. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really all in the clean beauty trend of things, uh, to be honest. Um, I trust chemicals and I like preservatives in my products, if I'm gonna be honest, especially with like skincare. I saw Juice Beauty on here and do you know how much Juice Beauty we threw away at Ulta because <laughs> it went bad on the shelf? I just feel like it's a waste. I don't know. Uh, you do you, I'll do me. I don't know. I just, uh, I'm not, I'm not a bore. I'm not, uh, whatever. Next up is Thursday, September 8th. We have the Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara, which is regularly priced at $24, now priced at $12. We have Select Patchology Eye Patches that are regularly priced at $35 to $60, depending on if you get the 15 or 30 counts, and they are now $17.50 to $30. We have the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser Daily Foaming Wash, which is regularly priced at $44, now $22. 
We have the Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant, which is regularly priced at $64, now on sale for $32 and 50% off minted lip kit lip kits lip liners and lip glosses which are regularly 12 to 15 dollars which are now six dollars to seven dollars and fifty cents first up is tarte so the word tubing to me means more of like a lengthening than a voluming mascara so if you need volume this mascara isn't for you but this is a pretty good mascara. It's a little bit of a drier formula, so it, it dries quickly. Um, it doesn't clump, it doesn't flake, but I'm not too into prestige mascaras, if I'm gonna be honest. Um, I just feel like drugstore formulas have just kind of inched their way up into being what prestige formulas are. You're just paying for the prestige name. A lot of drugstore brands own a lot of prestige brands, so I just feel like you're just paying for the prestige branding of it all when it comes to mascaras now. So, I mean, cool, <laughs> you know? Next up is Select Patchology Eye Patches. I love these. I buy these every year. Like I said, I have fine lines under my eyes that I also get like uh, dehydrated under my eyes. So these really help like just revitalize my eyes and uh, kind of help with like the hydration underneath my eyes. And I don't know, I just feel like the sale price for what you get is really nice. I try eye patches from a bunch of different brands. I've tried the, the, the Murad retinol ones. I've tried the What's 4th Ray Beauty? I was gonna say, what's the color pop one? The 4th Ray Beauty hydrating ones. I've tried the Patchology ones. I try a bunch of different eye patches, but I buy the Patchology ones on sale every single year. I'm not gonna go over all the different kinds, but if you'd like my opinions, ask me in the comments and I'll, I'll answer as best as I can. Next up is Kate Somerville. This is another skincare product that I love, but I will admit I did purge when I started using it. So breaking out when you begin a product that is supposed to prevent breakouts was a little, you know, disheartening. But I kept through it and like four-ish days later, uh, things cleared up and I love it. It's a great like soft exfoliating cleanser. It's gentle yet effective, but my skin feels super clean after I use it and it's I mean, it's a it's an exfoliating cleanser. It's it's an exfoliating cleanser. I, I like it. I feel super clean. It's really difficult to describe what it does to my face. Next is the Dermalogica Daily Superfoliant, and I think that today is just a good day because I actually do really like this. So, the uh, exfoliate daily exfoliant face wash thing. So this would be if you want to exfoliate without buying a whole nother face wash. So this is like a physical exfoliant that has rice and activated like charcoal powder. I use this um, by adding it to like a cleanser, but you can also use it by itself. But I like to add it to a cleanser and like scrub, you know? It's not like a harsh scrub, like a like apricot scrub or anything, but it is a scrub. I like it. If you want to give it a go, give it a go. It can get a little messy, not gonna lie. Um, and you kind of do feel like you're wasting product whenever you like shake and then like powder comes out, <laughs> you know? But the bottle is massive for 60 going on $30. But again, it's Dermalogica. It is one of those like luxury skincare brands. So it is expensive if you fall in love with it. This was my first like physical exfoliate. I think actually the original one, the one without activated charcoal was my first physical exfoliator and it was nice. It was nice. It's a nice physical exfoliator. If you wanna get into physical exfoliation, I would give this a go. If you like the exfoliation routine that you have now, don't don't feel pressured to buy it. But if you wanna try a physical exfoliator, if you don't think that you're getting as deep of a cleaner as like, I don't wanna say rough. If you don't feel like you're exfoliating as like rigorously, I don't know what, I don't know what adjective I need to use. If you don't feel like you exfoliate as much as you should or need to, give this a go. Uh, I don't mind it. I add it to my cleanser and that kind of helps um, dilute it as opposed to just going in with just this and water. And I'm fine. I like it. I don't use it every day. That also helps extend it. Um, and there you go. Next up is 50% off Mented Cosmetics lip products. I'll go over these a little. Mented has very good lip products. Um, lip liners are creamy and the lip glosses are pigmented, but not too uh, sticky. I personally will be skipping these because like I said, and like you saw earlier, mask. But if you would like a really creamy lip liner or a very pigmented lip gloss, $7 is not bad. 
Next is Friday, September 9th. We have Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters that are on sale from $16 to $32, now on sale from $8 to $16. The Tula Clear It Up Acne Clearing and Tone Correcting Gel that is regularly priced at $38, now on sale for $19. The Josie Moran Pure Argan Milk Intensifying Hydrating Treatment that is regularly $56, now on sale for $28. The Fresh Black Tea Firming Corset Serum that is regularly $75, now on sale for $37.50. The IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara that is regularly $26, now on sale for $13. And a Morphe Mystery Steel. First up is the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Highlighters. Uh, I have the Beaming Light Highlighter, the loose one. Um, it's pretty blinding. I don't mind it, actually. I'm debating on getting the, like, luminous uh, glow powder just because I, I like loose setting powders, but I already have a lot of loose setting powders. So I don't know if I want to, like, spend, spend money when I haven't, like, gotten rid of something to get something else, you know? Because I've heard great things about it. But back to the Beaming Light Highlights. I haven't tried her pressed highlights, but... The beaming light highlights, the, the the loose highlights, if you want a good like shimmery but not like sparkly glittery highlight, I would go for her highlights because I'm going to assume that her pressed highlights aren't sparkly either. The beaming loose highlights really nice, I'm going to assume the accent light is nice, um, yeah, solid. Next up is Tula, this is a 2% salicylic acid uh, gel. Um, it does wonders for my hormonal acne like when I'm going through my monthly uh but i can overuse it and end up drying out my skin so i would say dry babes or even like drier combo skin babes like i am whenever it's more like winter months i would say steer clear of this um but acne prone people this is for you next up is josie moran um this can separate because i think it's like an oil and water serum i'm not quite sure they say it's a milk I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm left with more questions than answers after using these. So anyway, shake it before you use it. But it's a good plumping serum. It's really sticky. That's one reason why I'm left with more questions than answers. Because like, I think it's an oil, but it's also a serum. I don't know. I also felt like I needed to use like, they say like a little glow goes a long way, but I needed to use like a lot to get it to work, to get it to feel like it was working. Maybe that's why it was sticky. Maybe I used too much. It, it plumps, it plumped and it was hydrating. It did its job, I think. I think I think that was just me doing like, I think it was operator error. This is a bad, this, this is a bad description of what this product is. It is a plumping and hydrating serum that I think that I used incorrectly and that's why I have some like mixed feelings on it. How about that? If you want a plumping and hydrating serum that you have to shake, and not use too much of, otherwise your face will get sticky. There you go. <laughs> Next up is Fresh. This is an expensive serum. Like, this is really expensive. Um, it's been out for a few years from a relatively popular brand, um, but there weren't a lot of reviews online, and I haven't really heard much about it. But I'm intrigued. Uh, I love tightening and firming serums. Anyway, I love anti-aging in general. So I just might pick this up. I don't really have a lot of thoughts other than I want to tr try this. <laughs> this seems to be the less popular product out of their popular corset line, which is why I think it's on sale to kind of like drum up hype for this product. So... I, I mean, it's doing its job for me because I'm like, hmm, it's half off and I hear good things about the corset line. Let's see what it does. Hmm. I think they're trying to drum up buzz and here I am. Next up is It Cosmetics and I do not like this mascara. It uh, flaked on me. It also is more uh, lengthening than volumizing and here's like from, here's their own picture. I don't know why they say it's volumizing. I'd say that's lengthening, but it flaked on me and I did not like that. And I've said it many times in this video and last video, and I'm sure that I'll say it in next video. Do not buy prestige mascaras. <laughs> you can find better drugstore mascaras, but also I don't like it cosmetics. And this mascara got in my eyes and made me cry off all my expensive eyeshadow, so... No. Next is the surprise deal with Morphe. So what I'm gonna say is, for my little hypothesis, is, um... Since the Jaclyn Hill highlighters on, are on sale, I'm going to say that the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes, the big volume one and volume two palettes are going to be on sale. 
Um, but I was wrong for both of last week's mystery sales, the Buxom and the Kat Von D ones. So um, we'll see. Next up is Saturday, September 10th, and we have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation CC Cream that is SPF 50. We have both the regular and the oil-free matte that are regularly priced at $44, now on sale for $22. We have 50% off select It Cosmetics brush sets that are regularly priced at $19.50, but go all the way up to $60. Now on price, now on, wait, $60, no wait. Now on sale for, I'm so confused because it says $60, now on sale for $19.50 to $32.50, but $32.50 is not half of 60. Is it 65? It has to be 65 and I just put it in wrong, right? Next, we have the Stila Stay All Day Matte and Shimmer Liquid Lipstick that are regularly priced at $22 and now priced at $11. We have the Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte and Luminous Eye Color Crayons that are regularly priced at $26, now on sale for $13, and a Murad Surprise Sale. My phone died, so the angle might have changed a little bit on this, and for that I'm sorry, but let's get right back into where I think we left off, and that is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. So I don't like IT Cosmetics, I think their foundation ranges are kind of bunk, but it's kind of like looping back to the beginning of this video with the uh, Estee Lauder foundations, where it's like, if you have the opportunity to create this great big shade range for this concealer that you have, why not do that for this foundation? I'm not going to give you the excuse of, oh, well, it's such a light shade of such a light flush. It's like, no, just create a large shade range because you skimp out on your lightest shade range and you skip out on the darkest shade range. Just create a shade range for every, create a shade for everyone. Thank you. Please. Yes. But not the point of this video. This is good as a tinted sunscreen. That's it. Uh, these definitely transfer though, so they'll need to be set and that can make them look cakey but uh, they're full coverage. And uh, yeah, if you need a good tinted sunscreen, $22 isn't too bad of a price for it. And uh, yeah. Next is 50% off Select It brush sets. And again, short and sweet. I think these brushes are overpriced for the amount of brushes that you get. If you don't support Morphe, uh, good drugstore brush brands are Ulta Collection. They have really good brushes for their price, Real Techniques. Uh, there, there are other brushes that you can get. You don't, you don't need it. Cosmetics brushes. You, you're just paying for the cosmetics branding. If they can sell these for fifty percent off, they can sell them for even less expensive. It's, it's fine. Don't get these. You're good. Next up is Stila, and these really do uh, stay all day as long as you don't eat anything that has like oils or anything that'll you know break down the lipstick. Um, they come in a plethora of like nude, pinky, mauve, just basic shades, but they do come in a plethora of uh, shade shades for different skin tones. But yeah, I think these also go on sale every year, and it's a solid steal. It's just again mask, not for me this time. But if you've been wanting to get lipsticks because your lipsticks have expired due to COVID or whatever. Lipsticks, good. Yes, they are matte though. They do dry. Next up is nude sticks. So these are very smooth and they blend very easily, but the shimmers aren't like the most blinding shimmers. So they aren't quite my cup of tea, if I'm going to be honest. Plus I personally need, a, I personally need, sorry, that kind of slurred, a matte eye primer. Otherwise these will crease horribly on me. But I don't know, th this is a solid like eye for me. Uh, if you like crayon uh, lip or lip, if you like crayon eyeshadows if, and you want to give these a try, give these a try. Oh, but I also think that like these pencils you have to like use a sharpener for and I don't like that because anything that isn't like retractable uh, tends to like dry out pretty easily and also like if I ever sharpen anything I like look at the product that I've sharpened and I'm like, oh, that could have been used. And I like just view it as like wasted product. Maybe I don't like these. Maybe, maybe, maybe I don't like these. Never mind. <laughs> and finally, we have the surprise steal from Murad, and I have no clue what it's gonna be, but I hope it's a it's I hope it's a I hope it's a retinol. I, I need a new retinol serum, and I hope it's a retinol. I have their retinol like under eye patches, like I mentioned earlier, and I really like them. I've heard great things about their retinol. Please be a retinol. Ulta gods. Let me be right about this and let it be a retinol, please. <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, that was everything uh, in this Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. What do you like? What do you think that you're gonna get? What do you think I should get? What would you like to have me see? What would you like to have me see? What would you like to see me try? What would you like to see me get? Let me know down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!